In this video, I will walk you through the entire installation and setup process of the form editor add-on. I will also show you how to use this add-on on your travel website. First, you need to log in to your WordPress admin dashboard. Now, navigate to plugins and click on add new. Click on upload plugin. Click on choose file. Select the form editor add-on that you downloaded earlier. Click on open. Click on install now. And click on activate plugin. The form editor add-on is now successfully installed and activated. Next up, you need to navigate to WP Travel Engine, then click on Plugin License. Enter the license key that you received during the download of the add-on. Your license key looks something like this. Click on Save Changes. Now click on Activate License. Your license key for form editor add-on is activated on this site. Now let's configure the global settings of this add-on. To do that, from under WP Travel Engine, go to Settings, go to Extensions, go to Form Editor. Here you can enter the Google Recapture site key and Google Recapture secret key to invoke the Recapture service on your website. If you decide to add the key, please remember to keep the secret key confidential for security purposes. Next, you need to configure the main settings for the form editor. Under WP Travel Engine, you have to go to the form editor. Here, you can find the main form editor settings screen. The settings for each form in the WP Travel Engine core plugin are separated into multiple tabs. The form editor settings for each tab include options for inquiry form, checkout form, traveler's information, and emergency contact forms. All the default fields added by WP Travel Engine for each form are listed on the settings page. Each row in the settings table represents a form field within the form. Each row has a piece of information and an option to edit the field as well as a sorting handle. You can perform different actions from the main settings of this add-on. The first one is add form fields. Here you can add different form fields of your choice to gather additional information from your travelers. To add an additional field to any of the forms, you have to first of all, click on the Add Field button. Here, you will find options to add basic form fields like text, text area, select, checkbox, radio buttons and attachment, as well as the advanced form fields like country dropdown, telephone, number, trips list, captcha, and date picker. You have to select and click on the desired field type to add a field to the form. This opens up a pop-up with options to customize your new form field. The add field pop-up is also varied depending upon the type of field chosen for addition to the form. For example, if you are adding a field with select, checkbox, or radio buttons, you will get an additional text area in the pop-up that takes options values. Let me demonstrate an example. Click on add field. So let me choose one of the field from the advanced fields. I will choose the trips list. I will add in the label as trips list. When you add the label, the name and ID box gets filled up automatically. You can enter the field class here and also check into this box to make the field valid. 
which means your visitors will have to add this detail mandatorily. Now click on Save field. And here is the newly added trip field. Before I click on Save fields, let me open our site in the new tab. Go to Trips and I will open one of the trips. Scroll down to the inquiry form. Let's go back to the dashboard. Click on Save Fields. Come back to the front end and give your site a refresh. And here, the Choose a Trip option is also displayed in the inquiry form. Let's head back. The second option you get with this add-on is the Edit Form Fields. This option enables you to edit the existing form fields. To edit, you simply have to click on the Edit button under Actions for each field row. Let's take the first two rows for example. So click on Edit. From here, I will change the placeholders. So instead of enter your name, I'm only going to set the placeholder as name. Click on Save Field. And similarly for email, I'm going to click on Edit. And under Placeholder, instead of enter your email, I'm going to only set the placeholder as email. Click on Save Field and click on Save Fields from here as well. Go back, give your tab a refresh and you will see the name and email placeholder labels have now been changed. Let's go back. The next option you get with this add-on is Form Fields Sorting. This option helps you to sort the fields in your desired order. To sort the fields, first of all, you have to place the cursor over the sort icon. Then you have to simply drag and drop the field row using the sorting handle. So let me place the country drop down right above the trips list. Click on save fields to save the changes. Let's go back to the front end right now. The country drop down is showing here. Now if you give it a refresh, you will see the country drop down is right next to the trips list field. Let's go back. Another option that you get with the form field add-on is deleting form fields. If you want to delete any unwanted fields from your forms, then you can make use of this option. You can delete all of the default field types except for the first two. The first two fields cannot be deleted as these two fields are mandatory for an inquiry form. For example, if I want to delete the number of children field, then I simply have to click on the delete icon here, which will then delete the field. Click on save fields, go back to the site. Here is the enter number of children field. Now, if you give your front end a refresh, scroll down, the field is not showing here anymore. Let's go back. The last setting of this add-on is the Reset Form Fields. You can simply press the Reset to Defaults button and get back the old fields. Please remember that resetting will clear everything and get default form fields back and also remove any newly added form fields. So if you click on Reset to Defaults and click on OK, you will see the form fields are now set back to default. If you go back to the front end and give it a refresh, you will be able to see the differences here as well. Let's go back. Now apart from inquiry form, the other form options are checkout form, traveler information form and emergency contacts form. The process of adding, editing, deleting and resetting the fields are same as the inquiry form. The only difference is that the settings for the inquiry form applies to the inquiry form within each trip page, whereas the settings for the checkout form, traveler information form and emergency contact form applies to the respective forms. The checkout form shows during your visitor checkout. If you go over to your website, and if a user books a trip,
then the form that shows here is the checkout form. You can follow the same process that I showed you earlier to add, edit, delete and reset the checkout form. The next two forms are the traveler information and emergency contact forms. These forms show after your visitors book a trip. Let's go to our site and I will demonstrate an example. Let me fill up the checkout form here first. So here is the traveler's information form and here is the emergency contact details form. So from the traveler's information form, let me delete this particular field. The name of the field is city. So let's go back, go to traveler's information form. And here is the field. Click on delete, click on OK, click on save fields. Now if you go back and give your front end a refresh, you will see the city field is not showing in the traveler's information form anymore. Similarly, for the emergency contact details, let me change the label for the phone field. So let's go back, go to emergency contact and here is the phone field. Click on edit. So instead of phone, I'm going to add a different label. Click on save field. Click on save fields to save the changes. Go back to your front end and give it a refresh. You will see the phone label has now changed to emergency contact phone number. Let's go back. Also, please note that the number and types of fields might differ as per the requirement of each theme as well as the option to delete the various default fields. Now, whenever your users visit your website, they can find well-placed forms to book or inquire about their favorite trips. So there you go. If you have any questions or confusions, please do let me know in the comments section below, or even better, you can directly reach out to our support team. I have added the link to creating support ticket in the description box below. Thank you so much for watching this video and I'll see you in our next video.